Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. I spent some time in between episodes looking up the Sanguine quest walkthrough, and it turns out that our game is massively bugged. It was bugged beyond belief. For some reason, the Countess Leowin was wandering around down the road in the middle of the wilderness over here somewhere. And on top of that, the guard wasn't letting us into the room, even though we were wearing clothes that should have allowed us to go into the room. And that we'd got his um, personality disposition or whatever, his how much he liked us up to above 70. So I don't know what was going on there, but it com was completely bugged. So I used, having killed the skeleton that we were facing in Emelian Tomb, uh, I came to Leowin Castle and I used a load of console commands to get us in this position. So we are now in the room. All the people who are supposed to be here are here. And I'm now just going to carry on the Sanguine quest from there and hope it works. So we're going to cast Stark Reality. Uh, we don't have anything in our inventory that's stolen. So we should get all our property back after we serve our time, after we're arrested for casting the spell on the guests. So with any luck, it'll work and everything will be fine. Let's find out. Well now. Yeah, yeah, go to jail. Hope you. <clears throat> I have succeeded in casting Stark Reality Spell on the Countess of Leon and her company. I should return to the Shrine of Sanguine. There we are. Finally, it did it. It worked. So we can carry on. We'll serve our time. Hopefully we won't lose too much in the way of skills. Blade skill decreased by one, heavy armor decreased by one. That's annoying, but as long as we have everything back, we don't have everything back. What the fuck? We don't have anything back. Do we have to go and collect it from the dungeons? Oh, this game is so fucking buggy. It's really frustrating, chat. Castle Leowin Dungeon. Let's check the chest where you get the stuff from. Crate Barrel. Where do you even get the... Is it this one? Evidence. I have no lock picks. Are you kidding? It's very easy lock. I've got minor latch crack. It's not there. We're going to have to load. Okay, so it's still not working properly. It's supposed to give you all your stuff back after you've served your sentence. I don't know what's going on with this. It really is fucked. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide all our stuff somewhere. Where can we hide all our stuff? Yeah, so we can't open this door. Let's hide all our stuff down in here. Hide all our stuff in the chest down here somewhere. Castle Leo and Servants' Quarters. What is it now? What is it now? I'm trying to hide everything so that I don't get fucking ruined by doing this quest. Okay, there's no one in here. Let's hide it in this chest. So... Try this. Can't move quest items, that's why. That's why all the quest items stayed in our inventory. Because they can't remove them. And if this doesn't work, chat, I'm just going to give up on the quest and say it's fucked. And not give a shit anymore. Because it really is just fucked beyond repair at this point. The quest is not working the way it's supposed to. It's you. Hello. It is me. I'm back. Look at this. Shakar. Go to jail. Let's 
serve our time. Armor and athletics, that's fine. Okay, so it succeeded again. So we've succeeded. Now we just need to go and get our stuff back. It's hopefully all still down in there. Please tell me you can go in here now. Good, we can go in here now. The dinner party's over. Which means we can come over here and hopefully get all our stashed loot. Okay, he needs to make sure, we need to make sure we're not being seen by him. Okay, and now we get everything back. The first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is travel to Sanguine Shrine to see if it's completed successfully, see if we've gotten the reward. And if the mission will now fucking end, because this is just ridiculous how broken this is. Okay. Get out of the way. Uh, let's equip the steel longsword, the arena, raiment. Drop the pants, all the rings, drop the sackcloth shit. Put on the Tower of the Nine and the helmet. And we're now good, chat. We're back to where we were. Everything's been done. The mission's done. We've got all our stuff. Now we can leave, hopefully. Fast travel to the Shrine of Sanguine and it should be completed. Oh, oh except we can't fast travel because it's night time. Not, sorry, not nighttime. It's uh, daytime and we are a vampire. That really sucks. So we need to feed. So what time is it? It's okay, good. It's coming to nine at night. It's coming to nighttime. So we can just wait somewhere and then we'll be able to fast travel to the Shrine of Sanguine. Uh, we could do with feeding first, though. So let's go to the Mage's Guild. Because I had to wait to charm the guard. Or well, I tried waiting and charming the guard and we're now at vampirism like rank 2 or something. Yeah, rank 2 vampirism. So, yeah, we need to eat so that we can travel to Sanguine, Sanguine Shrine and then fast travel back. Because I want to come back to the cave that we're exploring and carry on exploring that once we have uh, handed in the Sanguine mission. Anyone to sleep in here? No, that's the library. Was it there? I thought I saw soul gems in here. Soul stones, but obviously not. Okay. Let's wait until uh, night time, so that's going to be what four hours will be 12 35 hours should be 1 30 with any luck this will increase our vampirism again, and then we can just feed immediately Yeah, it did In a dream from your childhood you remember playing hiding games with your young friends on a warm summer afternoon You hide in your parents barn sure you will not be found Soon the sweet smell of hay is replaced by a darker sickly smell you move deeper into the barn only to stumble on the rotting corpses of your parents, their throats ripped out. You try to scream as your parents rise and pull you into an embrace. Yeah, we've read that one before. Okay, so let's close these doors. Let's feed. Right, that's the vampirism taken care of. Now it's night time and vampirism's taken care of. We can fast travel back to the shrine of fucking Sanguine, get our reward, and then get this. Just forget about this stupid mission. A rousing success, mortal. And it appears you joined in the festivities as well. Good for you. You need to lighten up a bit. Hey, I had fun. What are you talking about? You'll find your equipment in that chest over there. And here's a little something for your efforts. 
Maybe we'll celebrate again sometime. Oh, is he supposed to give you a okay? Is he supposed to have give is he supposed to give you equipment back? Okay, so that was all that was on me. Oh, okay, so I made a mistake there. I didn't realize that he was the one who gives you your equipment back. I thought the guards gave you back your equipment. So that was my bad, but we found a workaround in that anyway. We got all our money back. We got the white stallion lodge key back. We've got the quest completed and we got the reward, which is Sanguine's Rose. Sanguine Rose on target. What does that do? Sanguine's Rose. Let's make a save. And let's try it. Try it on some people. I think it just randomly... What's going on? Those guards. There's a psychopath on the loose. Holy shit. It summons a giant scam. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Take that just warming up. Ow. Ow. I'm sorry. Have another one. Okay, so if you miss... Oh, it summons a random thing to fight for you. Okay, cool. Good to know. Alright, let's load it. That could be incredibly useful. It weighs 10. And it's only got 10 uses in it for 3,000 souls. So it's a last minute resort.com type thing. Okay, good to know. Let's fast travel back to... Actually, let's go up to Wayne and Priory and dump some stuff off. Since we're close to it now. I want to choose Protects on three because I want to start getting Alteration up. As opposed to Illusion. Illusion's now high enough that we can cast Invisibility. That's good enough for me. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We want to drop off a bunch of stuff. We'll drop off Sanguine's Rose for the moment. We'll drop off the Elven Claymore. Because that's the most damaged weapon we, can do, we have at the moment. And we want to keep it. Uh, we're going to sell the silver stuff. We'll drop off Rusev's shield. Drop off the gold diamond ring. So you've got stuff to enchant. Silver necklace for the same reason. Um, the garlic because of the vampire quest. Ramblings. No. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll keep them. They're quite light. And we've got 11 repair hammers. Good. Right. That's better. Now we fast travel back to Leowin and we'll carry on in the cave that we were exploring once I've sold everything at Leowin, in Leowin. Sold everything I need to sell in Leowin. Man, that was frustrating. I can't believe it was so badly glitched. And that's the problem, because you don't know where the glitches end. You then don't know what's part of the game and what's part of the uh, glitch messing things up. And uh, that's why I didn't realize that um, Sanguine actually gives you your equipment back. And we had to, like, hide all our equipment. We didn't actually have to do that in the end. So, yeah, it just gets confusing and weird and discombobulating and irritating when it's supposed to just work from the start, Take obviously. Care. Um... But anyway, that's it done. Let's not mention it again, chat. Let's not talk about this nonsense any longer. Uh, I want to make a load of potions with the ingredients I have. I don't know why I've got two lots of bone meal as though they're different things. Adding bone meal to bone meal, apparently. Right, apple, bread loaf, carrot, corn... Potato, rice, pear, can bullet cap, nope, ectoplasm, no, can't use that with anything, ginkgo leaf, somalius frond, tap root, that's it.
mandrake root. No, nope, nothing there. Milk thistle seeds. Nope, nothing there. Nightshade. Nope, nothing there. And just rice. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, let's talk to this guy. Sell everything that we don't want. May I interest you in some of my So the silver battle axe can go. Silver mace can go. Excellent bargain. Uh, jewel of Ramari. He he wants to buy it for a thousand. I would consider doing that, but water breathing is just too useful to keep on you for such a low weight. Damage endurance, damage fatigue, damage fatigue, potion of cure. Oh, it's because he's. Oh, I see. He only has a thousand, so the most he can spend on it is a thousand. He'd probably buy it, spend a lot more if he had more on him. I get you. I understand now. Cure disease, so we can get with a potion of cure disease. Oh, I should have dropped off the potions of healing. Oh well. You drive up. An excellent bargain. And the strong potions of healing as well. I wish I'd dropped them off at um Wayne and Priory, but whatever. Oh, what, what rumors do you, do you have for me? I guess Rosentia Golanus got rid of whatever barnyard animals she was keeping inside her house. Smells much better now. Yes, yes, it was barnyard animals. It wasn't Take a load of scamps. Who are you? What? Who are you, lady? Goodbye. And what are you trying to do? What can I do for you? What, why are you just standing there gesturing at her you wildly? See. You fucking weirdo. Whatever. This game is so weird sometimes. Uh, we also leveled up. I could go and level up, but that will mean that we can't fast travel as a vampire. I think that's fine. I'm not too worried about fast traveling at this moment, so let's go do it. Hear what? I'm clearly busy. Clearly just making magic spells and jumping around. What's your problem? Why Why did you have to get in my face? Why did you have to be all like, oh, let's hear it. Okay, bed, sleep, one hour, level. You have a sentence level 14. Today you wake up full of energy and ideas. And you know somehow that overnight everything has changed. What a difference a day makes. Four strength, three intelligence, two endurance. Our endurance is not going up as quickly as I'd hoped it would. And we didn't go up in vampirism level as well. That's good. That means you can still fast travel. So let's fast travel to Amelian Tomb. And carry on adventuring chat. Is this fucking mud crab alive still again? Don't tell me everything back in the cave is alive again as well. Good work, Skellington. Please don't tell me everything's back to life in here. Oh, it is. Fuck's sake. We were halfway through clearing this level chat and then we went and did the layer win. Whatever, I don't care. Let's do this again. Fucking hell, that made me jump. That was Skeletor. Here comes a Skeleton Guardian. Oh, this is frustrating that we're having to redo this entire dungeon again, but it's more XP for us chats or whatever. At least the Sanguine's mission's finished.
Yeah, he's now stuck in there. That's funny. He's like, I can't get out. I'm stuck behind the statue. Oh, now he did. And he's back in. means if that ghost is back alive we're gonna have to take him all the way back to Leowin like we did last time unfortunately chat that's not, not something we can't really avoid on the plus side all the treasure might be back which is an, a, you know something that's good something that's a plus as I said on the plus side If all the uh, skeletons and zombies and undead and monsters have respawned, then maybe all the loot's respawned as well. Which means we have another shot at getting loot that's really good. High value magical items and things like that. Tonk. Tonked him out of the way. Good work. Excellent work, Skeletor. Yes, excellent. I don't see a ghost this time, though, which is good. Promising. Sorry, Skeletor. Shit. My weapon broke. Fuck's sake, it munched me. That's the problem with fighting it, fighting down in the, um, fighting it down in the tunnels, because it's so narrow, you can't sidestep past it, and if you get stuck, 
against one of the walls, then you just get fucking wrecked. Which is what happened there. He was almost dead as well, like a couple more hits and would have died. That's annoying. Oh well. It's because again I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, so it's hard. You can't press fucking select which spell you want to cast. And also cast it and also move. It's too difficult. There's too many buttons to press all at once. Whereas on on a analog stick, on a on a joypad, you can do it. You can play the game a lot better, a lot more easily. Pressing various buttons is a lot better, a lot easier. But I'm back from my holiday tomorrow, chat. You'll be pleased to hear. So I'll have access to my joystick. I can plug that in and start utilizing that from the next episode. So yeah, I'm super excited to be uh, to be back from holiday. I'll be live streaming again, and I'll have um, access to an analog joystick controller. Yes, the loot has respawned, chat. Excellent. That means we might get another chance of getting something good. And I don't see a ghost anywhere either. Shit, that's a skeleton hero, though. Skeleton heroes are no joke. We're going to have to run out and hide on a rock with this guy. Rock hiding time, chat. Skeleton heroes are way too powerful. Have to hide on a rock and blast him with fire for ages. Teehee, I'm up here, you can't get me. Well, this is going to take a while, chat.
Oh, he baseball batted Skeletor's head off. Fucking hilarious. Uh-oh, he blocked. He blocked and then stood there like an idiot. Look at these skeleton dummies chasing each other around. As long as he keeps ignoring Skeletor, Skeletor will eventually defeat him. Good hit, Skeletor. Nicely done, Skeletor, all right. An Elven Basilax. No wonder he was killing me with a couple of hits. Right, let's hope there's no ghosts in here. Skeleton heroes are hard enough, let alone fighting ancient ghosts. Yeah, the ancient ghost was there, so. this time rather than a dwarven battle axe or whatever this wasn't hard last time I don't think I think it was a normal I might be wrong though don't remember don't remember that far back chat stop being a fucking prick thank you Gold emerald ring. Nothing else. No. Oh, look, there's something there. There's something down here. Can't get. To, can I have to cut death? Can you chop through the cobwebs? There's something there, chat, and I can't get to it. Because the breach is. There we go. Now I can get to it. Okay, so you collect. I think you can collect this whole thing, this whole set. 
Am I stuck here now? There we go. Okay, so I got his breach. I got his boots. His, his, oh shit. Oh shit, there's two of them coming and it's still open. Oh well, we have to go outside again, chat. So it looks like you have to collect the whole set of, um, his whole set of armor. I wonder if it gives you a boost like it does in Diablo when you put the whole set on. I don't think so. I severely doubt it. Oh, poor skeletal. Whoa. Okay, we can't fight two of them. You can fireball two of them, though. Would you stand still? Maybe it's a quest or something to collect his, um, collect all of his armor and give it to someone. I don't know. I'm going to collect it all and keep it in the chest for the time being. But it looks like it's all light armor, so it's completely useless to us. Bad start, I completely mistimed that. Shit. Yep, that was a really bad start. That was just done really badly. Here they come, little Zomboss. Shit, he's actually going to work his way out. He's, he made it. He worked his, all the way around. He worked out how to get all the way around to us. Here they come. Now they're being irritating. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah, they can get over these rocks, no problem. Okay, he's now fallen down and the other guy's going round. So he should be okay. If we come back here, they should go back. Whoa, shit. They should go back to here. Yeah, nice. And we can carry on.
Right, let's try again. Round two. And one of the zombies has just stood behind the statue. That works for me, no problem. Right, there we go. Oh, you activated it, Skeletor. It's so funny the way he just clobbers it down. It's like something out of WWF. Smackdown. Getting really larry chat. The zombie kept like doing quick attacks at us. Should have killed us if it had hit. Instead of its slow double down swing, it was doing like fast single arm attacks. Uh, Elven battle axe. Do, 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 do. Another zombie up ahead. <laughs> Poor Skeletor is like, I live. <laughs> The zombie just goes, nope. Oh, he went for Skeletor and then changed his mind and went for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, get him, Skeletor. Man, Skeletor is hacking this thing in pieces. Yeah. Skeletor hacked that thing up.
Good work, Skeletor. Potion of sorcery, gold ring, potion and gold. Okay, so if we look down here, that's where the shield was. It's now gone because we've got it in our inventory, so that's good. So we've got his boots, his shield. I should imagine there'll be a helmet, a greaves, elven hour nine, I'll take that. More flesh and gold, I'll take that. A helmet, greaves. Uh, what else? That should be it, just that. Oh, gloves. We've got boots, shields. So there's greaves, gloves, and helmets still to find, I reckon. That's what I reckon anyway. Right, chat, we're finally back to where we were before we stopped and had to do the sanguine quest mission. Where to oh, God, there's two skeleton archers. Let's uh, run away and hide in here where it's nice and close quarters. They're not following. They're not going to follow his chat. Okay. We'll have to fight them in here. Skeleton hero, skeleton hero. Two skeleton heroes. We're not getting past them. We are not getting past two skeleton heroes. Two of them together as well. The only way we can defeat them is using the old Skeletor, um, Skeletor in the room trick. Like leave Skeletor behind in the room, like we have done this time. So go in, summon Skeletor, and then run out. I'm going to use my power though to Dragon Skin, and then we're going to fuck one of them up. We are barely even harming it. Okay, they're targeting us, not Skeletor, which means we should be able to stand here dodging and let Skeletor fight them. Skeletor, what are you doing, you idiot? Target the one in front so you can hit him. Or hit, yeah, finally. We've only got five minutes left of the episode, chat. Is, will Skeletor have enough time to kill them? Probably not. Oh, Skeletor got munched then. Sound's gone all glitchy again. Gone all glitchy and fucked up. Skeletor actually does quite a bit of damage if he's left uncontested. But the problem is he's not being uncontested, he's being killed over and over again. What other abilities do we have? 142 to immobilize one of them for 7 seconds. That probably won't help that much because there's two of them. Mute won't help, we just have to keep summoning Skeletor. Ow. Right, let's see how dead this guy at the back is. Okay, pretty good. Ha! 
Ow. Are they going to come out this time? Yep, they're coming out. Oh, only one of them came. Nice, you managed to separate them, chat. Okay, because there's only one of them, we can actually fight it a bit better than if, obviously, than if there were two. And there's a corner here, which is nice. Because he'll have to sit there aiming at me to make sure I don't come around the corner. Which means Skeletor can just swing at him and just miss. Skeletor, what are you doing, you idiot? Okay, Skeletor's broken. Let's try summoning one who isn't. Okay, there we go. Let's say let's try summoning one that isn't a complete mong. So he eventually switches target and goes for Skeletor, which means his arrow gets used up. And then I can get in for a few swings. Ow. Ow. Ow, you can shoot me from there now. I have to hide again. Skeletor, keep laying into him, buddy. He's not dead yet. He's almost dead, but not dead yet. Skeletor, for fuck's sake. Stop swinging at the air, you idiot. <laughs> Bounced off Skeletor's skull. There we go. These are just steel arrows as well. Nice, Skeletor got him. These are just steel arrows. What? I was using an elven bow, that's why. Right, chat. That is it for the time being. We have come to the end of the episode. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching today, guys. I hugely appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion where I'll be playing on controller this time and we'll be finishing off this ruin, this graveyard, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we will be continuing it and completing it. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow for that episode. Oh, look at the arrows sticking out of me. Oh God, that looks painful. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode, guys. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sal wait till next time.